powerless? Many times, and, and perhaps increasingly with age. I feel powerless when... When I'm around a woman that I don't know how to approach yet. <laughs> it's a hard question. Uh, I'm a, like a six foot six dude. Like, I don't really feel powerless that often. Because I haven't figured out how to read her to know how I would make my move. As a mother of young teenage daughters, <laughs> that was a long time ago. When one of my children was extremely ill and I thought she was going to die. My dad was a bit sick, he was in hospital and waiting for the doctor to come out and say he was alright. And I stood and watched a lacrosse game in the park next to the hospital and I can still remember every single, I don't know the rules, but I, can rem I could replay that game. That was horrific. You put yourself in other people's hands, you have to trust them totally. Well, even if you don't, <laughs> you don't have much choice. I was in a car accident and the car turned over and I knew that it was happening and it was very, very slow. And I remember that typical m moment, movie moment, doctors either side, <laughs> the light going above you. I was inside this vehicle rolling over and I was as if I was in uh, suspended in space. My marriage had broken up and my uh, ex-wife refused to allow me to see my daughter and so for um, several weekends I drove from Sydney to Newcastle to knock on her door knowing there would be nobody there and that was the most powerless I've felt in my entire life. I suppose helping my dad die? Helping my dad die. That moment when when they're, when they're on the way out, when they're, they're beyond helping. Yeah, that's, I mean, you, you are powerless. There's, there's no fighting death. I had to talk him through on the phone what he wanted to do. So obviously not allowed to do it legally. So I had to get advice from doctors as to what you should do. And then I spoke him through it on the phone, like helping him. Those moments when I'm there, the people who are close to me, de devastated, yeah. I fell asleep and I woke up the next morning to a voice message from him. He's a tough old bastard. 